After my class at College on the Square, we ended up, they were going to throw these away. Can you imagine throwing away all of this really cool, these are baby wipes that we used to clean up the jelly plate with, and then there were some papers that they were going to discard, and I'm like, uh, no, let me just keep those, I'll come up with something to do. They made, we made cactuses, three little, three little eight by ten canvases with cactuses, and uh, here's the pictures of those that the students did. And I decided to take all of this trash yumminess and make a little book. And so the front of it has a little prickly pear cactus. This is uh, some of the baby wipes and they tear really neat. And I just used a glue stick, just a plain old glue stick. And I just hole punched some of the, let's see, I think I have a page in here that has the leftover of that. Let me see if I can find it real quick. If not, there it is. So this was a piece of the baby wipe and it had a lot of pink in it. And so I just hole punched that for these little prickly pear fruit things. And I haven't stitched this together yet. I made two signatures, and I think there's five pages each of the five sheets of paper. And like this is made from uh, a baby wipe that I just cut into some little petal shapes and just kind of mushed it all together. And this had a torn spot, so I just tore off something else and glued over it. And I'm fixing the stitches together, so I'm going to show my. And this is a belly band. You tuck something in. There's a lot of white space in here. Uh, that's okay. I'm not really concerned about that. And then some little half pages so that uh, you give it just an extra little spot. And these little pots, I think there's two of these. And I made a little tag, like a little cactus. Put some little strings on there, raggedy yarn stuff. And that's just a little tuck spot and just a piece of paper. Nothing special. I'm gonna put some, and this is a paper clip. And I took two of the pieces of paper and uh, let's see if I can figure it out. There it is. Glued them together with the paper clip inside. And then I tore some of the two different kinds of the baby wipe to make a little sand looking thing and put that there. So I'm gonna fix it to stitch this together. I need to glue this little tab here. That's the only other thing that I need to glue. And then I'm going to do a little demo on my stitching. And this is mostly for my students. I may put this on YouTube. And so if you're at my channel and I happen to do put this on YouTube, thank you so much for coming and thank you for watching and be sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna lay my cover to the side for just a minute. And I got, I was at Tuesday morning in the city. I only have made one trip since COVID to the city and uh, went to Tuesday morning and found this book binding guide. Normally I just have a little template that I use whenever I do these. I don't make books real often, but I thought, well, this would be fun. It was only $6.99. So, yeah, we'll go for it. All right, let's see what all it says it has. Everything you need to make a custom saddle, Coptic, and Japanese bound books, and then some stuff in French, and maybe some stuff in Spanish. It has a book binding guide, all a curved, straight needles, wax thread, instructions, Japanese stitching templates, and storage pocket. Ta-da! Easily pierce through eight sheets of paper, book board, and leather. Create books up to nine inches tall. All right. So there we go. That to the side. Toss that. And there's my all right there. Does it have a cover? Doesn't have a cover, but that's all right. And then the needles and the wax thread, yay. All right, put this over here. And we'll see if we can figure this out since it doesn't have any other instructions. I guess it's assuming that I know what I'm doing. All right, I've got my first signature and I am going to go ahead, find my middle, make sure I've got a little half sheet in here. I think I do. 
looks like both half sheets are in this second here. Yeah. All right. Even that up. Find my middle. This has a right and a wrong side. It's got a little dip in it. Get that stuff out of the way. And where's my caps? There we go. Now I'm not for sure how I will keep up with what holes I have put where. Probably do a count or something like that. Well, my book's not really a random size. It's actually eight inches. And so I found my middle and uh, went ahead and poked a hole right there. And I'm only going to do three stitches, I think. So I'm going to back up here this second hole from the edge and then do the same thing here, two holes from the edge. And then that's, that's my middle right there where I've already poked it. So that I'll do the same thing whenever I go over here. So I'm not sure about how I need to make sure. Oh, I know how to make sure. I'm pretty smart about this. Let's do this. I'll say I'm pretty smart. We'll see how smart I am. Move you over here. All right, make sure my little half pages are where I need and want them to be. Get that out and that out for right now. So I just grabbed one of my other pages to use as a guide to make sure I got my holes right. Uh, so just finding that middle and those end holes. And then I need to do my cover. And my cover has two rows of holes. And I've also, instead of having a center fold in my book cover, I have a, I've got two folds. They're about a quarter of an inch apart. My book is about a half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch bigger than my little uh, inside pages. And there's just copy pages, copy paper that I have cut. And I cut the excess off the edges so that they would not just jam out. or The pages hang out. So I'm going to use that same little thing. I'm going to use my uh, just one of the pages as a guide to where to poke the holes in that first fold in my cover. Do I want to use that? No, let me just scoot that over since it bothers me. And I probably should have used that. But trying to get used to using this guide uh, when I've used just like foam core before. Now shift the page to the right hand side uh, edge so that it's on the second row, uh, the second fold. Poke and poke and poke. And then I'm going to get ready to stitch this, put all my pages back together, put the paper clips and the tags back in, and then we'll be ready to stitch. I'm going to do this back signature first, no reason why. And I've got my thread, I've probably got like maybe way more than I need, two yards or something like that. Got it thread it onto this needle. And I'm going to start in the middle hole. I've only got three holes. You need an odd number of holes, I think. I'm not a book binding expert, so... And this is just a little crafty project. And maybe they can do this with their, their grandkids or something, with their leftover papers. And then so I came through the back and now go back into the center hole and out. Make sure I don't pull that through again. Snug that down. Go into this bottom hole and make sure I'm all lined up 
on my signatures. Make sure I'm firm. Now I'm going to come under this thread and then tie a knot. And then one more. Now I can trim this off and just leave these threads in here or I can go ahead and take this needle. I'm going to go ahead and cut these off or I could tie a bow. Do I want to tie a bow? This book is not really conducive to, to tying a bow but I may leave those hanging out and hang something on that. That's what I'll do. I'll just leave that hanging off the end and then maybe hang a little dangle. I've got a bunch of bead stuff I'll do that with. Okay, to do the second signature, we're going to go back in the middle hole, line my signatures up, all their holes, leave about six or eight inches hanging off there, then go to the back, go to that hole, and into the holes in the signatures, pull back through, pull it firm, there we go. Now back into this middle hole, make sure we go back out in the same spot, there. Pull that firm, and I, I did a little kind of a crease in here to give this uh, journal a little bit of room to add some pages and stuff to it. And there's my hole down here. I could come back and put some a piece of tape on here. I might do that. Or another piece of paper. That might even be a better thing. Alright, so there's my hole. And then through the signatures. Pull that firm like that. Come underneath, and then just tie this up, a little square knot, so it won't come undone, nice and firm, and leave these dangles hanging off, and if we decide to cut that off, then we can, and I'll leave my thread and my needle so it'll be easier to find in my little case over there. So I've got this, and I think I will put a piece of paper across the back. I'm going to kind of scrunch that onto where that signature is there, and scrunch that a little bit. Now I can either put some washi tapes on there or put a piece of paper. So let me go through my stash. Let me go ahead and put my tags back in. I'm going to put that little tag right there. And then, so here we are. Just... This is where we would clean off the brayer. These are just reject papers. Little belly band and an extra little piece of paper there. Half little half partial sheet. The, there we go. There's that. A little tag for that one. All right. A piece of baby wipe with the holes punched in it. I just like the pattern that was on here, and this was a piece that one of the students didn't like, so I put that there. <clears throat> and then here's Baby White. It looks like little hills and this paperclip cactus. Like that. I'm going to glue this, these little edges right here, then that little tuck spot will be ready. Oh my gosh, it's blank pages. I'm going to have to put something there. I don't know what I'll put there. And I need to put in some little cactus sayings like, don't be stuck up, and uh, do you want a hug, and all of that kind of stuff. Anyway, so there's that. Let me put some paper on the back of this, maybe, or just leave it alone. All right, thank you so much for watching.
I'll see you next time. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, a little like, and subscribe. Bye-bye.